traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Thursday, August 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the monthly, I'm definitely still looking at this as three waves up for W, three waves down for X, and I think it needs to make one, two, three waves up for wave Y, which is on the sort of time phase and ABC of wave Y, which I still think is going to take it up above these previous highs. So let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, first of all, I think the wave W ends back here, or WX, I mean, the wave X ends back here. That means that this first move up is a wave A. That means that this right here most likely is a WXY of wave B. And then this would be a 1 of wave C. This would be a big ABC correction, most likely a 2 of wave C. And I still think there's a pretty good chance it's going to go up and make a 3 or 4 and a 5 of wave C to form that pattern that I was sewing on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily time frame. We finally got that nice breaker structure last week, so that's great news for us. I think there's a pretty good chance we do have the end of a correction. Now, I definitely am putting my Fibonacci retracement on here because these areas of resistance for sore at these Fib levels. Now, I don't really think that it's going to just go back down, but at some point it probably will make a pretty decent correction, but I think it is more likely to continue making higher highs and higher lows. So, taking it down to the 4-hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we are definitely, ever since we got making, ever since we broke this high over here, we had a break of structure. I definitely have been looking for longs, and there definitely has been a p couple pretty decent little long opportunities out of the market ever since that break of structure. So I'm definitely looking for longs, at least until we have a break of structure to the downside telling me that this uptrend is over. We are definitely either in a wave A or a wave 1 right now. There's definitely no proof that the wave A or the wave 1 is complete yet. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we have to try to determine whether this move up right here is a continuation of the uptrend or whether it's actually like a wave B. This move down to me definitely has five waves, which kind of makes me think that it could be a wave A. This could be a wave B, and it possibly could go down again for a wave C, maybe even breaks below structure before it actually does continue the uptrend. Now, often, what I say is what could be a wave B sometimes just keeps on trending up, especially with the fact that the trend is now up on the daily to weekly time frame. So I personally am definitely only looking for longs. Personally, I'm looking to go long at the end of every single one of these pullbacks I see. But if it does go down, then give me another opportunity like this, then that it would be a really good opportunity to go long also. If you do trade the short time frames and you see it bounce from a fib level, break starts to the downside, then you could trade to the short side. But I personally am still waiting for longs at the end of every single pullback I see. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.